Introduction Priya, can you tell which of these things belong to which set? Yes, it is so simple. Stamp will go in the set of stamps. Pencil belongs to the set of pencils. And this coin belongs to the set of coins. The what is a set? Sunali, can you see these three collections? These are the sets. But how do you say that these are sets? A set is a collection of things which has something in common. Come, I will explain you more about sets. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you will be able to Learn sets and their representations. Explain roster and set builder form of sets. Explain empty set. Learn finite and infinite sets. Define equal set. Sets and their representations. A set is a collection of objects that have something in common or follow a rule. For example, set of coins. Set of girls between the age group 13 to 15 years. The objects in a set are called its elements. Set notation uses curly braces with elements separated by commas. So, the set of outwear for Kesha would be A is equal to coat, comma, hat, comma, scarf, comma, gloves, comma, boots, where A is the name of the set and the braces indicate that the objects written between them belong to the set. Thus, a set is defined as a collection of distinct objects. Representation of sets Sets are usually designated with capital letters. Elements of a set are usually designated with lower case letters. Objects Elements and members of a set are synonymous terms. For example, capital A is a set and A is an element in capital A. Also, when we say an element A is in a set A, we use the Greek symbol epsilon to show it. Epsilon denotes the phrase belongs to and if something is not in a set, use this symbol. This means does not belong to. Example, set A is 1, 2, 3. You can see that 1 belongs to A, but 5 does not belong to A. Some common sets in mathematics. Methods of representation of sets. There are two methods of representing a set. Roaster or tabular form and set builder form. Roaster form. Roaster notation is a list of elements separated by commas enclosed in curly braces. The curly braces are used to indicate that the elements written between them belong to that set. Let's look at some examples of sets listed with roster notation. R is equal to A, comma, E, comma, I, comma, O, comma, U. G is equal to 0, comma, 1, comma, 2, comma, 3, comma, 4, comma, 5, comma, 6, comma, 7, comma, 8, comma, 9. T is equal to Monday, comma, Tuesday, comma, Wednesday, comma, Thursday, comma, Friday. Set builder, set builder notation has the general form given below. Colon. In set builder notation is always read as such that set builder notation is frequently used when the roster method is either inappropriate or inadequate. For example, x such that x less than 6 and 
x is a counting number is the set of all counting numbers less than 6. Note, this is the same set as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Examples of roster form of sets A variation of the simple roster method uses the ellipsis when the pattern is obvious and the set is large. The set of odd counting numbers less than or equal to 9007 is 1, 3, 5, 7 up to 9007. Set of all counting numbers is represented by 1, 2, 3 and so on. The set of all even positive integers less than 7 is described in the roster form as 2, 4, 6. The set of odd natural numbers is represented by 1, 3, 5 and so on. The set of letters forming the word school is S, C, H, O, L or H, O, L, C, S. Here, the order of listing elements has no relevance. Examples of set builder form of sets The set of all x such that x is greater than 0. The set of all x such that x is any number except 11. Set of all x such that x is any number less than 5. The empty set Empty or null set is a set that contains no elements. It is also known as a null set or a void set. Empty set is denoted by these symbols. Examples A is equal to 2, 6, 8 and B is equal to 3, 5, 7. Let C represent the intersection of the sets A and B. C is equal to a null set because there is no element common between the two sets. Let's now solve an example. Solve modulus of 6x minus 7 plus 10 is equal to 0. Solution Step 1 Modulus of 6x minus 7 plus 10 is equal to 0. Step 2 Modulus of 6x minus 7 is equal to minus 10, which is never true. Subtract 10 from each side. Step 3. So, the solution set is empty set or a null set. Finite and infinite sets. Finite set. A set which is empty or consists of a definite number of elements is called finite set. For example, a is equal to whole numbers between 0 and 100. B is equal to primary colors. C is equal to prime numbers less than 12 are the finite sets. Infinite set. An infinite set is a set with an infinite number of elements. It is not possible to explicitly list out all the elements of an infinite set. For example, X is a set of atoms in the universe. Y is the set of prime numbers. W is a set of even whole numbers, are infinite sets. Equal and unequal sets. Two sets P and Q are said to be equal if they have exactly the same elements and we write P is equal to Q. Otherwise, the sets are said to be unequal and we write P is not equal to Q. Examples of equal sets. The sets A is equal to 3, 4, 6 and B is equal to 6, 3, 4 are equal because they have same elements. A set does not change if one or more elements of the set are repeated. For example, the sets A 
is equal to 5, 6, 7 and B is equal to 6, 6, 5, 7, 7 are equal since each element of A is in B and vice versa. That is why we generally do not repeat any element in describing a set. Did you know? Nearly all mathematical concepts are now defined formally in terms of sets and set theoretic concepts. For example, mathematical structures as diverse as graphs, manifolds, rings and vector spaces are all defined as sets having various axiomatic properties. Equivalence and order relations are ubiquitous in mathematics and the theory of relations is entirely grounded in set theory. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. A set is a well-defined collection of objects. A set which does not contain any element is called empty set. A set which consists of a definite number of elements is called finite set. Otherwise, the set is called infinite. Two sets, A and B, are said to be equal if they have exactly the same elements.